apologize for the projector. I'm not able to get it running. There's an electrical problem between the projector and the cord. My apologies. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm Tim Wilder. I'm a local fisherman from Washington. You can hold it. Tim Wilder, local fisherman. Uh, I'm still undecided. It's like blood to kind of support it. Play that. Just hold it real close to your mouth. Better? Yes. Tim Gould there, local fisher with Blush at Google. My concern with this is I don't think you know the gates that well. I have a 93 year old father. He's been here obviously for 23 years. He knows the conditions there. I and everybody needs in gray here in this whole community, we need to remember icebreakers coming in and out of this. Hold the mic close to your mouth. Hold, hold it real close to your mouth like, like, you're, like an ice cream cone. <laughs> no, sure. yeah, no, I'm you. not a public speaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, again, I have concerns. I wish the best for the whales, wherever they go. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't think you understand the gates as well. I, I'm beginning from California, but I understand the North Atlantic not very well either. Uh, there's been many years in my lifetime that this ice, the ice pack is frozen there to the sheetrock. That's out beyond the gates. They say you got flushing there, but flushing goes east, right? Or west, I should say. So the ice is going to come that way towards your whales. I don't, think, I don't think it's an option such, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I think it's much better. I don't think it's as good as you think it is. I mean, they're cute animals. Uh, half the people wouldn't be here if it was we're putting up a cage for a wolf fish or something like that that's going extinct. People love toads, people love cats, people love balloons. Uh, I don't care about the economic activity. I'm seriously sure left alone. They can't sell her private. So I don't care about your economic activity. She hired right here with the whales. Uh, and again, uh, what happens if they escape? What's the plan for that? That's my question. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Couple, couple of things. Let me respond first about the nets and their ability. So, yes, I'm from California, but I have had the privilege of working in many parts of the world. So I did spend quite a bit of time in the North Atlantic in Iceland. And with the nets we were able to deploy for that sanctuary, we had 120 knot winds on a much more regular basis than we ever anticipated. Some of the infrastructure that we had planned was destroyed, but the nets that we were able to put in stayed throughout all of those storms, and they were hurricane strength on many occasions, and we learned from that experience and were able to rebuild them, put them in in ways that stayed thereafter. So we have some experience. Do we know the gates as well as you? Obviously not. Is this an area that we think has the right physical attributes? You've heard us say that it does. We would want to work with you to figure out what we don't know and to learn more about it. With respect to if the animals escape, because these are animals that have been fed by humans their whole lives, if they escape, what they're going to do is turn around and come right back to be fed. And we have that experience as well in the wild. Uh, excuse me, but I used to raise pigs. Pigs escape. They don't want to come back. <laughs> and I, I don't think and, you can. And, and, and I haven't raised pigs, yeah, but I've raised whales. So we have a difference. Yeah, but you, you, you raise whales in captivity, right? They, 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 they never escape from there, right? No, I took them out in the wild from captivity. Oh, did you? Yes. Okay, so we'll describe that experience first. That's, well, that's the experience that is taking Free Willy, the whale from the Free Willy movies, to Iceland, back to his home waters, and over a four-year period, taking him out on 100-mile walks on many days, leaving him free to go wherever he wanted, and having him try to, because it was a unique experience, different from this, to see if it was possible for him to rejoin a family and live permanently in the wild. Uh, that and what we that and what we and what we proved, let me finish. And what we proved over a four year period was that we were able to give him the highest quality of life that he ever had, medically proven, but that he was not able to join a family, 
nor was he able to feed himself with the amount of food that he would have to capture. And he never learned to fully feed himself with wild fish. But the times he happened to go out for himself, his first look was where's home? Where are the people that had become his pod? And so in that respect, our experience and the experience of not just myself, but others who have had these experiences with dolphins, and some or orca are dolphins, as well as with whales, is that that's what we can expect should they escape. That's your sure. time, please. That's your time. No, that's your time. No, I just want to just give me one. Just give me one. Okay, I'll ask it real quick. Uh, you said the other way to it for a while. Would you do the same thing with these? No. No, you wouldn't. Just leave them in the cage. We would leave them in the enclosure and care for them there. We would not take them anywhere. We would not take them anywhere. Thank you very much. You're welcome.